Hey everyone, in the news this week, friend star Matthew Perry died, and a lot of my friends would text me poor taste jokes about it, and like the TV series, most of those jokes were repeats. The UN was in the news, in part because of its stance on Israel, but also because it just appointed a new chair of its Human Rights Council. The winning answer was, drumroll please, Iran, which is like suggesting your elderly relative goes and gets a health checkup from Harold Shipman. And there was also a grisly story about a woman being horrifically disabled after being hit by two trains on the London Underground. It's a pretty horrendous story if you go and read the details of what happened, although it's hardly the first time someone's lost an arm and a leg trying to buy a train ticket to London. But the big news story for me and many others, even just as a distraction from the Israel stuff, was that Paul McCartney, I mean the Beatles, have a new song out, cobbled together out of some stuff that John Lennon wrote back in 1977. The song is called Now and Then, which I initially thought was perhaps a sick reference to Jimmy Now Then Now Then Savile. 1977 was a very different time after all. As for the song, it's okay I guess, although a friend of mine thought it was a load of rubbish and told me whoever wrote it needs shooting. Personally, I was surprised by it. I'd assumed that given the lineup of Who's Alive, it was going to be a drum and bass number. That's a Beatles joke because Ringo plays drums and Paul plays bass. Oh well, I'm going to probably most likely never listen to it again, although I might go and put on a copy of Rubber Soul or Abbey Road after I'm done with this for the day. For those interested in a thorough review, you're welcome to go look up the discussion on The One Show or Loose Women, which talked about the Beatles with the sort of intellectual depth I'd more commonly associate with Diane Abbott giving her nuanced and well-informed opinions on how to solve the Middle East. Alternatively, and for a good laugh, I'd recommend music fans go and look up the review in The Telegraph the other day about the recent S Club 7 show in London. I'm always a big fan of scathing reviews, and this one certainly didn't disappoint, unlike that Paul McCartney cash grab. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.